Hello, in this video I just wanted to um, draw a brief comparison table of the different types of MOSFET amplifiers that we have seen, um, just so that we are able to see them all together uh, and better compare this, their characteristics. So I've put together this table, and just to recap what we have seen in the videos, uh, we have for the common source amplifier, the voltage gain was negative, uh, GMRD was an inverting amplifier. Um, the input resistance was infinity, the output resistance was approximately equal to the drain resistance RD. Uh, because of these characteristics, the typical application is a voltage amplifier. And one of the things that we have seen is that um, uh, the frequency response was affected by the Miller effect, affected by Miller. Uh, in the case of the common source with uh, resistor RS, uh, source of generation basically, we saw that our gain changes slightly to negative uh, RD, so overall resistance connected to the drain divided by overall resistance connected to the source that was 1 over GM plus RS. R in was still infinity, R out was still approximately equal to R the uh, same application voltage amplifier. And same notes, so same as CS. It also uh, is affected by the middle effect, which limits its um, uh, bandwidth, especially when the, when the gain is high. For the common drain amplifier, we saw that the uh, gain is approximately equal to 1, input resistance infinity, output resistance 1 over GM. Typical uses is, is as a voltage buffer. Um, it doesn't get affected by Miller because the gain is approximately 1, so it's typically a wideband amplifier. Uh, same thing with the common gate amplifier. The gain is actually GMRD, so similar to um, the common source, except it is non-inverting. Input resistance also equal to uh, 1 over GM, as, same as the output resistance for the common drain. So low input resistance, output resistance equal to RD. And uh, we said typically not useful as a voltage amplifier by itself because it has uh, a low input resistance, uh, but can be used as a current buffer, um, can be used for you know, sometimes impedance matching uh, type of situations. And I'll put that in notes, uh, can be combined with CS Incas code to improve frequency response. You know, I've sort of run out of space in my table. Um, <clears throat> but in essence, the same thing that we achieve with the gas code configuration when we talk about the JT transistors. And that's it. This is the comparison, brief comparison table. Um, and now we're going to move on to some examples. Thank you.